Hey, how's it going guys? Here's your flight reviews geek again. After spending a few days in Hong Kong, I'm flying back to Sydney on Malaysia Airlines via Kuala Lumpur. This journey consists of two flights. The first from Hong Kong to Kuala Lumpur and the second one through to Sydney. So due to the recent events in Hong Kong, I reserved more time to get to the airport to allow more flexibility just in case something doesn't go as planned. Business passengers as well as all teas of new flyers can use the business lane. The flight was operated by an AT3300 aircraft, which is one of the most abundant aircraft in the airline's fleet. Malaysia Airlines also operates the smaller 200 series aircraft. For this flight, I paid for the extra leg room seat, which is located at a tiny economy cabin that consists of only two rows, sitting behind business class and in front of the galley. Hello. For this four hour flight, we were provided with a blanket and a small pillow. I was so lucky to have the entire economy cabin for myself. I went for seat 9K which is a window seat at the front row with extra leg room. At the seat, you will find the remote control on the side of the armrest. And the USB charging IP screen and a power outlet is located down below the seat. Headphones were also given out by the crew, which is the standard economy headphone. The headrest has a head support on both sides, but the height is not adjustable. So after takeoff, I indulged in a cup of gin and tonic with some peanuts while understanding more about Malaysia Airlines in the magazine. Malaysia Airlines operate 5 aircraft types, with the A350 being the newest in the fleet. It also operates to many major cities around the world, and it was raining heavily outside. The in flight on the menu was available, so I couldn't recall the exact name of the choices, but they were seafood noodles or chicken rice. Everything was so good, but I wish the portion could be larger. The RF system on this aircraft uses a slightly dated screen, and as you can see from the video, it's not really responsive. However, navigation is easy and pretty straightforward. Within entertainment, you have choices like music, or movies, TV shows, and a kid's corner. The movies are also categorized into actions, comedy, drama, and newest movies. I would say I enjoy the variety of movies that Malaysia Airlines has to offer, but I reckon to make things better, the synopsis of each movie should be visible somewhere near the thumbnail of the movie, instead of having to painstakingly clicking into each one to see what are they about. And I do prefer swiping across the screen instead of having to keep on clicking on the arrow, but I do understand this is an older system. This is my first experience with Malaysia Airlines and I have to say it has good hospitality. There was a 45 minute delay for the flight and one of the crews came by my seat to chat with me about my trip to keep me occupied. Also, being seated in the front economy section means a higher degree of privacy and a less crowded environment. Unfortunately, I was the only one in the cabin so that made me feel like I was in a huge private suite. I guess the extra 398 Hong Kong dollars for the seat worth it. Overall, this was a very great experience on Malaysia Airlines.
If you have enjoyed my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to enjoy more reviews like this. If there is any routes or airlines that you would like me to review on, in particular those within Australia, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you next time.